This is about the robots, and that statement is more profound than you will ever know. Well, we test humans in violent and dangerous situations. Sometimes we do it deliberately because we want them to go out and fight. Sometimes it happens because of what's happening around them. And then when they come back to uh, places where that behaviour is no longer necessary, we either spend an awful lot of money paying psychiatrists and psychologists to try and return their head to something like normal, or they end up living on the streets or going to prison for their violent behaviour. We do not know what exactly makes human beings sentient, self-aware. Uh, like I said in the previous video, the closest I think we can get to it is it's probably an emergent property of having such a complex brain. We are giving computers that complex brain and then we are teaching them how to adapt to violent and dangerous conditions. And why then would we expect robots to behave any different from human beings who have been forced to adapt to violent and dangerous conditions? <coughs> it's not good it's not good whatever we are doing i understand the principles but this folks is why you need philosophy probably you don't want to be doing that to machines not when you get that complicated not when we've got ai about there we need to really think about this stuff